Um, I know that I was going to talk a little bit about um, how I do my characterization. Um, that's what I said in my last video I was going to tackle, but uh, in light of some recent news in my personal life, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. I am going to talk about Create Space and Ingram Spark. Now, um, when I started publishing, um, self publishing, that is, indie publishing, uh, I started with Create Space because it was the most simple user platform to um, to basically get your books out into the hands of readers through Amazon sales and create spaces web store for authors as well as um, utilizing the the Kindle option as well and getting ebooks out there now um, this was all great and I loved using it it was very simple um, they did use the Ingram database so that um, bookstores could in fact look you up and and um, put you on the shelves it just it's not as um, as wide open an option to get your books into like brick and mortar stores if you use the create space platform because of course it's owned by Amazon and Amazon doesn't really want your books to be sold in their competitors brick and mortar buildings of course so but that's neither here nor there I'll get more about that later but anyway one of the things I used to love about CreateSpace was that um, you could actually create coupon codes for their um, author's CreateSpace store for your books. And what I was planning to do with that back in um, like September, I think, I created a coupon code um, when I started creating this database of all of the public school librarians um, in my local area. And I developed these... Um, this uh, trifold brochure to let the local librarians know about my published novel and um, give them the website and the option to purchase it at a highly discounted almost wholesale cost where I make next to nothing off of the books just so that I could get my books onto physical shelves. Where? So this is actually the trifold as you can see here. Um, I had addressed it to make it pretty easy um, when I use my my database that I created, I can actually print off on um, shipping labels or address labels, just pop it right in there so it goes straight to the school and it's addressed to the librarian at that school. Go ahead and pop that stamp on it. I have the clear little round stickers that'll hold it together. But on the flip side of the trifold, because you know, this is what's shipping, then they see this. This says that a local author has written a book that needs to be on their shelves. If you open it up, to here you can see information about me as the author and then you open it up again and it, it gives all the information the, uh, the coupon codes everything so that was my original plan and I created this back in like I said September well in October um, Amazon decided or create space decided because they're basically one in the same but different um, they weren't gonna do uh, the create space storefront anymore for authors which means that the coupon code I created and printed off hundreds of these brochures, these trifolds, immediately became obsolete. My my code went away, <laughs> my storefront went away, so my ability to market to my local area completely evaporated with that one business decision that CreateSpace made, and I had to hustle to figure out, okay, well, I lost money on printing off all of that. I wasted all these months creating this giant database of all of the addresses for all of the public schools in the area with hard like brick and mortar libraries in them. Um, I put so much effort into this marketing plan and I was going to launch it this year in 2018. And of course now I can't do that. So um, I got online and I started looking into other publishing options. Ingram is the largest uh, database out there, but it's also one of the biggest book printing companies out there as well. So I am thinking I'm going to actually quit using Amazon sales I, I will still do Kindle for my books. That's I will still use KDP, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing for my eBooks. But I'm gonna phase out my printed books through CreateSpace because if I can't market well, what's the point? And instead, I decided to use Ingram Spark because guess what? CreateSpace did not allow hardcover prints of your books. Ingram does. So with Ingram Spark, I'm gonna be able to offer my my readers both, you know, the hardcover and the paperback. But I can also use their their 
expanded database, which does go worldwide, I can actually find ways now to market where I can help people find the books in everything from uh, corporate uh, brick and mortar stores such as um, Borders or Barnes and Noble, or they can go into um, like an indie bookstore, like the big ones. I know that um, back in Seattle, there's um, Elliott Bay books. There's Aunties in Spokane, because originally I'm from Washington, so I know the book scene there pretty well. I know there's Book Soup in California. Um, there's another one in Oregon that's pretty huge, and I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'd only been there once. Um, I really can't remember the name off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, and then down here we have like um, it's called Brazos and Kaboom Books. They're two um, two of the local big indie book retailers um, here in my area. So definitely somewhere that people would be able to walk in and order my books from. Um, I'm going to be using mostly Ingram Spark for my publishing platform, and um, then of course I'll use Kindle because I think that's still the probably the biggest widely used ebook source out there. I haven't done as much research on ebooks just because I don't personally read them. I like the feel of a physical, tangible book, um, but I understand there are a lot of readers who depend on that. Um, I'm going to be also, in um, future videos, I'm going to be talking about how to actually publish your book. When I get to the point where I'm republishing uh, my volume one of The Dangerous Voyage of Gup the Sailor with the all new cover art and the new um, illustrator with Ingram Spark, I will actually do a video that shows how I actually format the book, get the um, upload it to Ingram Spark's um, platform, I guess, for lack of a better phrase, and um, kind of walk everybody through my process of switching over. And um, if there is enough request, I can go ahead and do a quick video on how to upload and um, publish through CreateSpace because I do have a lot of experience with that platform just because I have published on there before. Um, but it really depends on how, how interested people are in still using CreateSpace. But my personal opinion is I am, I'm going to phase out of that. As soon as I get that published on Ingram, I am going to be discontinuing it on CreateSpace. I will leave it up on Kindle, of course, but it's, it's really kind of my business decision, for lack of a better phrase, to um, just move away from that entirely. So there we have it, and um, I will see you on my next Thursday. Oh. I too can command the wind, sir! I have a hurricane in me that will strip Spain bare if you dare to try me!